The citizenship saga engulfing federal parliament may drag the local share market lower at Monday's open, despite a flat lead from Wall Street. The U.S. market was barely changed on Friday, with the S&P 500 closing 0.1% down, suggesting a flat start to Australian trade this week. However, M Capital Chief Economist Shane Oliver says citizenship developments on the weekend, such as the resignation of Liberal MP John Alexander due to dual citizenship concerns, may mean local shares fall slightly. You can't rule out a bit more of a fall because of the increase in political uncertainties in Canberra, he said. It's probably the main risk at the Open tomorrow, because we're now getting close to the point where the government might lose its majority in Parliament. The Australian Bureau of Statistics will release the wage price index for the September quarter on Wednesday, and October jobs data on Thursday. There could be good news on the wages front, Drive Oliver said, with 0.7% growth expected for the quarter, bringing year-on-year growth to 2.2%, after the national minimum wage rose by 3.3% from July 1. Drive Oliver said the consensus forecast is for jobs to have risen by 18,000 in October, with the unemployment rate remaining at 5.5%. Local investors are also anticipating the release of monthly business confidence data on Tuesday and consumer confidence data on Wednesday. Internationally, U.S. retail sales figures and inflation data will come out on Wednesday and Chinese economic activity data on Tuesday. The Australian share market closed lower on Friday, with the benchmark S&P slash ASX200 index down 0.33% to 60.29.4 points. However that index, which passed through the 6,000-point market on Tuesday, finished 1.2% higher for the week. The Australian dollar was trading at US 76.87 cents. AAP